What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Destiny and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the family. This week's video is gonna be a walkthrough of my 2021 bullet journal. I know I'm starting a little bit late in the month and it's a little bit late in the month, actually a little bit late in the year. It's gonna be March soon and I'm just now starting it but I feel like better late than never, right? So. I've been contemplating starting a bullet journal for quite a while now and just for some backstory of what I'm trying to make my bullet journal like I want it to be kind of schedule-y type thing but also scrapbooky type thing so I want to mix both of those things together and see what it looks like so hopefully this video gives you some inspiration on a way to set up your bullet journal because when I was doing research it was really hard to find something like what I wanted so I'm gonna walk you through my entire month of March and how I set that up but without further ado let's get right into it yeah, get into it! So I got my bullet journal from Notebook Therapy and the packaging is so pretty, like this box is everything. And I got the limited edition Moonflower bullet journal and I got it in the size B5 which is the biggest size because I'm extra obviously. <laughs> but this is what the bullet journal looks like. It's so beautiful, it's 100% vegan leather and it has these little gold accents on the pages, so beautiful. And I'm just in love with this book. It's so pretty to look at. And it also has two bookmarks right on the bottom, which are really helpful. Okay, and for markers and pens, this is what I got off of Amazon. I got a pack of 60 Ohuhu dual tip marker pens, 15 count mid liners. These are more like highlighters and they're also water resistant, so that's great. I also have some white gel pens and then I got a 24 pack of King Art dual tip brush pens and I got all of this off of Amazon and I'll leave the link down in the description box below and just for reference I'm gonna show you guys what the lightest blue shade in each of these markers look like so first I'm gonna swatch the mid liner right on the top here really beautiful light blue and it's not as opaque as the other ones because it is more of a highlighter so I'm still happy with how that looks Next, I'm going to do the Ohuhu brush pen. Oh, this is definitely not a light blue, but it's still really beautiful. Last but not least, let's try the King Art right underneath that one. And that's what that one looks like. But just for reference, I wanted to show you guys what each one looked like individually next to each other, just in case you're also thinking of getting markers like these. Here's all the stickers and like stationery type stuff that I got. I got everything here off of SHEIN and just a little disclaimer, some of these packets do come random but the ones that I received I'm really happy with so I got these little stickers, they look like little paint blocks so I'm gonna try and write inside of them or make faces or something. I think they're really cute and can go with different themes so I'm excited to use those. I also got this random pack of antique paper. Next, I got these beautiful eucalyptus stickers. I love plants, so I was really excited to try and get plant stickers. And I almost forgot about this. I got these little coffee stickers, but look at how cute this is. This is definitely gonna be used in this month's spread since the theme is coffee. I also got these stickers. These are also flowers. This is also a random pack of paper and this was mainly like red pieces which I'm really impressed with these are all really beautiful pieces of paper and I can definitely cut these out and just scrapbook the heck out of my book with this and next I got the Elmer's glue craft bond extra strength glue sticks these are meant for scrapbooking and crafting so hopefully these do me justice and last but not least I got some washi tapes okay so just taking you guys through my notebook my first page is just a belongs to page, really standard. My absolute first page is my 2021 and I made it in the shape of a circle so that I can just draw some flowers along the edges and just make it really floral and beautiful. And next to that on my actual first page, I have a page for accomplishments this year. I have two little bars here on the side just to track my YouTube and Instagram growth because those are two things that I'm really trying to work on this year. And the page after that is my March month spread and I'm doing a theme of coffee this month. So next to that I have my habit tracker and those habits that I'm trying to track are skincare, exercise slash dance, water intake, how much I'm reading, flossing, and eating healthy. My page after that is the actual month of March written down 
with some space for important dates that I might have. So I'm excited to start this off. And then I have a page for brand collabs that I do this month. I just started working with brands on Instagram. So I'm really excited to get into this and track my progress with that. And my next page is new music. So I want to make sure that each week or each month at least, I listen to some new artists or new genres. And then after that, I have my weekly spread. So my first week is really standard, just a little bit on a different angle here. But then my weeks after that, I have spread out differently so that I don't get bored of it. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna make sure I doodle and scrapbook around this so that it looks all nice and artistic. And after that, my last page is the self-care menu. And my self-care menu, I wanna try and do all of these things at least once this month. My self-care menu includes a massage, tea, yoga slash meditation, a mani pedi, quiet breathing, watching my favorite TV shows, wearing a soft robe, face mask, bubble bath, bath bomb, and then drinking a tall glass of water. So I want to make sure I do all of these things at least once this month so that I'm giving myself the proper care and relaxation that I need. Let's just get right into the doodling. I'll take you guys on a journey with me and enjoy this time-lapse musical number that's about to happen. This is my 
my 2021 page. This is the accomplishments. My March page. Habit tracker. Another March page. An important date section. Brand collabs. New music. First week. Second week. Third and fourth. Fifth with notes and my self care menu. And with that, I end today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It definitely helps me continue to make content for you guys. While you're at it, make sure that you hit that little notification bell so that you're notified every single time I post a new video. And until next time, bye guys.